Imagine if there was an almost guaranteed way that you could become 38% better every year. Meaning every year you score 38% higher in your exams, you lift 38% heavier at the gym, you make 38% more money, you become 38% more successful. And it might seem like only 38%, but that's an enormous difference. The kind of difference that people around you will notice. The kind of difference that can completely change the trajectory of your life. So so how can you do this? It's very simple, it's called the 1% rule and the 1% rule states that if you can just consistently be 1% better at what you do each day over the course of 365 days you'll make significant progress and what I love about this is that it's just so simple and the best ideas, the best principles often are. I'll give you an example, I was doing some very light sparring this Sunday and I took a punch to the liver and it was absolutely excruciating, it was so painful and if you've ever been punched in the liver you'll know what I mean. I realised that I needed to bring my arms down a bit to protect my body more. So that one small lesson that I learned in Sunday sparring, I'll bring it with me the next time I'm sparring to make me just that 1% better. Very little, small incremental improvements, right? But over time they make a big difference. And the Japanese have actually been using the 1% rule for more than a century. However, the term they use for it is Kaizen. In 1986, Mizaki Imai, a Japanese organizational theorist and management consultant, introduced to the Western world the Japanese term Kaizen and made it famous through his book Kaizen, the key to Japan's competitive success. And the whole notion of Kaizen is this idea that if you can improve your performance in any given area of your life, whether it's your career, your business, your studying at university, by even a very small percentage point and keep adding those percentage points day by day, then you'll get this massive compounding effect where at the end of the year or the end of two or three years, something quite remarkable can happen. And you can literally transform yourself into someone that you never thought that you could be. I mean, that's what I did. If you knew me 10 years ago, you probably wouldn't recognize me if you just met me today and that transformational process does take time but it's about chipping away just making hundreds of small changes throughout the year and I talk more about it in my transform your grades course if you're a student and you're struggling with your grades like I was and you're feeling unmotivated and uninspired or maybe you're just kind of struggling with chronic procrastination I go through step by step how I was able to completely turn my grades around and completely turn my life around. There are lectures, worksheets, exercises, quizzes, a private community, bonus lectures, basically everything that you need to take your studying and your life to the next level. We're currently running, I think it's a 64% discount. You can go to projectelon.com forward slash transform your grades or you can click on the link in the description below. So implementing Kaizen into my own life played a huge role into how I was able to turn my life around. I mean, I didn't know it was called Kaizen at the time. I didn't know it was called the 1% rule, but I was just consistently every day learning and improving. And it's up to you to make that small adjustment in your attitude, in your approach approach to whatever it is that you want to become great at. Just making it into a habit and spending even just five minutes at the end of every day to ask yourself, what is the one hidden gem that I learned today? that I'm going to use tomorrow to improve by 1%. It's up to you to actually implement Kaizen into your own life. It's up to you to do this because the natural tendency is for our days to kind of just melt together, right? And by the end of the week, it's like, what happened? Because there are just so many distractions. And I was watching an interview on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, and it was John Danaher, who's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and one of the top coaches in the world. And he explained it really well. He said that most people live day to Today, where the events of yesterday have no bearing on the events of today and the events of today have no bearing on the events of tomorrow and this means that your life will simply run in a flat line until the day you die but if we make a concerted effort to build one day upon another even if it's just very small things and in most cases it will be very small things it's rare that we have a day where we have kind of a, a monumental thing happen right most days are not monumental they're mundane. So on every one of those mundane days, we have to take just one small little gem that happened. It may not be very big, but add that to your performance tomorrow. And if you can do that over two years, over five years, over 10 years, something really truly remarkable can happen.
your Instagram uh, description said living in the spirit of Kaizen. Mm. And I was wondering why you have that up there. And is that uh, something I, yeah, you always thought yeah, about? Yes. Um, I'm a huge believer in the idea of small progressive movements towards goals. If you look at the course of an average day that we all go through, every so often, maybe two or three times in your life, there's one day which changes the direction of your life but the vast majority of our days are unexceptional. They're just a boring mundane, mundane day. You come home at the end of the day and if someone asks you, what happened today? You would literally have to think back and be like, I, I'm not sure. And that means at the end of every day, there has to be a concerted look on your part. What was the most significant thing that happened to me today and how will it influence my life tomorrow? And if we can do this, your days become progressive. It's so easy to let a day go by and say, I'll try again tomorrow. But until we get a sense of one day building upon another towards a goal, you'll never really achieve that much compared to what you're actually capable of achieving, right? You'll just plod on with your life and 10 years will go by and you'll say, what did I do? I really want to kind of get this message across that success isn't achieved by making this kind of one massive decision or taking one huge leap in your life, right? But it's about all the things that you do every day, the seemingly mundane tasks that you repeat day in, day out. Now, I often tell people too, fix the things you repeat every day, because people tend to think of those as trivial, right? You get up, you brush your teeth, you, you have your breakfast, you know, you, you have your routines that you go through every day. Well, those, those probably constitute 50% of your life. And people think, well, they're mundane, I don't need to pay attention to them. It's like, no, no, that's exactly wrong. The things you do every day, those are the most important things you do. Hands down. All you have to do is do the arithmetic. You figure it out right away. That's why I think just making incremental improvements 1% at a time is so important. I try my best to implement this philosophy into my own life. I mean, you can see for yourself if you go to my YouTube channel and you watch my videos, even just going back four or five months, you should see quite a noticeable difference compared with the videos that I make now. And hopefully in another four or five months time, the videos I'm making then should be a lot better than the videos that I'm making right now. But what about if you just can't find the motivation to spend literally five minutes a night reviewing what happened during the day and recapping the one thing that you learned that day. Your one hidden gem that you can learn from and bring forward to the next day. What if you're feeling so lazy you can't even do that? Well I made a video recently to help with that exact problem. It's called the number one golden rule that transformed my life and the title is genuinely no exaggeration and spoiler alert it's networking. I can't emphasize enough how important networking is to overall success and happiness. Anyway, I talk about more in that video. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. Alternatively, I made another video on my productive daily routine. It's a day in my life video. I've not done one of those videos in a long time. Again, you can click on the card on the screen and whichever video you choose, I'll see you over there.